Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 239, sliding window maximum. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given an input array nums and we have k size. So the k size represents the size of the sliding window. So we can only have three elements in the sliding window, right? So we need to move this sliding window from left to right. So we need to take maximum at each and every k size sliding window. So in this case, it is three. So after getting three, we need to move the sliding window by one. So again, we need to take the maximum, right? So we need to move the sliding window till the end. So we need to take maximum in each and every sliding window. And we need to finally append these values in the result array, right? So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially we are going to have window array where we are going to store the indices of the current elements in the current window. So initially we are going to pick the first element one and its index zero. So I will be having the index that is zero and num will be having the current number one. So first we need to check whether we need to throw any element out of this window in order to include this number in the window. So in this case, we don't have any number in the window. So we can include this number in the window, right? So we are going to append the current numbers index in the window that is zero. So I will show you guys in the next iteration how we will append the maximum in the result. So now we pick the next element three and its index. So index is one and the current number is three. So now we need to check whether we have k size elements in the window. We don't have k size elements in the window. We don't have to throw any elements from the window. So now we are going to compare the last element value in the window and the current element value. So here we have the current element as three and we can use the last element index to get the value that is one. So we need to check whether the current number is greater than the last number in the window. If this is true, this particular index element is not going to be maximum, right? It is going to be smaller in the current window. So we can just pop this one. Then we include the current numbers index that is one. So the idea is we are always going to keep the maximum element at the front. So now we need to check whether we have K elements in the current window. So we don't have K elements, right? We have only two elements, but the k is three. So we pick the next value that is negative one and its index is two. So now we need to check whether we have more than k elements in the current window. We don't have more than k elements. We have k elements right now. So then we need to compare the current number on the last value in the window. So we have the index one. So we pick the value using the index one that is three. So here negative one is not greater than three. So we don't have to pop one from the window. We just append the current values index that is two. So now we need to check whether we have K elements in the current window or not. We will use the current index to, we need to check whether it is greater than or equal to K minus one. So in this case, two is greater than or equal to two. So it is valid. So now we will append the maximum value in the current window using the first index in the window. So the first index is three. So we will append three to the result. So now we pick the next value that is negative three and its index is three. So the window has been extended like this. So now we need to check whether we need to throw any indices of elements that are not in my current window. So the current window is like this, right? So we need to take difference between the current index three and K that is three. And we will add one to it. If this is greater than the first value in the window, we need to pop this particular index from the window, right? So here we are going to get one. One is not greater than one. So here we have one, right? So we need to include these all elements in the window. So here we could see that, right? 
1 and 2 are included in this window. This particular element has been already popped out from the window in the previous iterations. So now we need to compare the current value negative 3 is greater than the last value in the window. So here the last value is negative 1. Since this is not greater, we have to just append the index of the current number that is 3. So we could see that right indices 1, 2 and 3 are in my current window. So now we need to take the maximum in the current window which is nothing but the first index value in my window that is 3. So now we pick the next element that is 5 and its index 4. So the window has been extended like this. So now we need to check whether we need to throw any index that is not in my current window. So here we could see that right the first index is not in my current window. So we need to pop this one from the window. So then we need to check the current number with the last value in the current window. So the last value is negative 3. So here 5 is greater than negative 3. We just pop this one from the window. Then we need to check 5 and the index value 2. So the index value 2 is negative 1. Since 5 is greater than negative 1, we pop this one as well from the window. So now the window is empty. Then we pop the current elements index in the window that is 4. So we are always have the maximum elements index at the front right. So now we pick the maximum element in the window that is nothing but the index value 4 that is 5. So we append 5 here. So the window becomes like this right because we have thrown these two numbers from the window we only have this particular element in the window. So now we pick the next value 3. So we pick number 3 and its index 5. So now we need to check whether we need to throw anything out of this window. So here we don't have to throw anything from the window. So we just compare the current number 3 whether this one is greater than the value 5. Right. So we are just extending the window like this. So here 3 is not greater than 5. So we just append the index of 3 that is 5. So we are extending this window, right? So the maximum element in this particular window is 3. So this particular window is actually nothing but the this case size window. So in this case, we have thrown this particular element since it is small, right? So since we have thrown, we have only two elements in that window. So the maximum element in this window is 5. So we append 5 to the window. So we append 5 to the result. So if we keep on doing that, we will be having 6 and 7 in the result as well. So that's all the logic is. Now we will see the code. So before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially we will be having result and window list. Then we will be writing a for loop. We will pick the index and the current numbers value right using the enumerate function then we will be writing a while loop where we will run the while loop until we have removed the indices of elements that are not in the current window right then we will be writing another while loop we will run this while loop until we have the maximum element at the front right then we will append the current elements index in the window then we will check if we have reached the case size we will append the maximum element using the first index available in the window to get the maximum value from the nums right then finally we will return the result that's all the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys